What's going on Trade Zero fam? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up your workspace in Zero Pro. So let's jump right in. So first thing to mention is everyone's workspace is going to be different than the next person's. One workspace that may work for someone may not work for you. You have to set this up based on functionality and also just based on your own personal preference and style of trade. So in this example, we're just going to walk you through a very basic setup on a laptop. If you're a trader that uses most monitors we're gonna have a video ready for you in the future so stay tuned for that now let's jump right into our workspace so when you first download zero pro you're gonna have your canvas right in front you may even see a default layout on the screen you just close out all those windows and start from scratch and that's exactly what we have here we have an empty layout we're gonna start from scratch and build our workspace all right so the first thing that i want to look at is the portfolio window so I have my portfolio window. I actually like this spot right here in the bottom right corner. It's right in my peripheral, right in my view, so I can see everything, okay? And the reason why this is important for me is because it shows me all of my values, right? It's showing me my gain real lives, it's showing me total exposure, my equity ratio, and it's also reflecting the positions that I'm holding, which is super crucial for me. So we have our portfolio window here. I'm just gonna bring this down just a little. So that way we have our pending order window here at the top, and then we have our filled orders here at the bottom. All right, great. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna look at is pro charts, all right? We're just gonna bring this pro charts right over to the right side, all right? We're just gonna expand this so that way we can fill this area here on the right side. Great. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to link this window. So we're just gonna link this window to the portfolio using the letter A or the orange color coded linkage chart, okay? The next thing that we're gonna look at is market depth, all right? This is where I'm gonna be creating my order. All right. Now, if you'd like, you can also use a simple order entry if you don't want to use market depth. All right. Personally, I'm going to keep the level two window and then we're going to add another. All right. I'm just going to bring that other window down here. All right. And then we're going to link this level two window over to our chart and our portfolio. All right. So the moment I click this Apple position, the link windows should all change. Great. So now we see Apple on our chart and we see Apple inside of our level two. Awesome. All right, we're just gonna leave this one unchanged or unlinked. Great. So the next thing I wanna add to my workspace is going to be my watch list, right? So we're just gonna bring our watch list down right beneath this level two window here. All right, we're only gonna be looking at a few stocks. Let's just say that this is just a watch list just for the day, all right? Which is why this window is so small. So things that I wanna look for, things like Apple, let's just look at tech stocks today, all right? Let's go for Meta, and then let's go for Tesla. All right, great. Eh, for kicks, let's add Google. Awesome. So now we have our watch list right there at the very bottom. Now, the other important thing to add to a workspace would be your news. We all know that news is super important, right? When it comes to your everyday trading, right? So we want to look for headlines. So that's why this here is going to be right at the middle here. All right. And now last but not least, we're going to have our top list. Great. We're going to just bring our top Top list right here to the middle section and the reason we have our top list here is because I want to see what's being actively traded on the day that way I can just jump in between stocks of interest if I'm a scalper or just for data purposes just looking at stocks that are just trading actively based on a set criteria right so for example if I wanted to see stocks that were trading above ten dollars on the day that would filter out all the most active stocks trading above ten bucks and there you have it, folks. Again, this is just an example of what you can do and how you can stylize your own workspace inside of Zero Pro. 